So you may have come across this problem before that when you click on your materials, you get a list of fast shaders that you didn't want in your scene. There may be a list of fast shaders or flat color shaders or a combination of both. And there's no apparent easy way to actually remove these from your interface. They're, they're just here in the scene somewhere. We can go up to our material palette up here and there's nothing here to help remove that. You can see that there is one flat color here and I can restore the configuration which may remove that one but it's not actually removing anything from the scene. We still have everything in here. So what's actually happening here is that ZBrush has assigned some matte caps to certain objects in the scene. Here we have three tools and this one is composed of seven sub tools and you can see it's actually this one that's the issue. Um, you may not be able to see that, but it, it is actually this one. This file was given to me, by the way, by a student of mine who very graciously is allowing me to use this to demonstrate this issue and the fix. So the issue is that there were some materials on some objects that were not baked correctly or are not stored correctly in the scene. So they could have been put on layers that weren't baked correctly uh, and through no fault of the user, just purely an internal thing. Uh, they could have been put on meshes or subtools, meshes that were imported from other programs, etc. And basically ZBrush didn't know what to do with it and assigned a fast shader to it. It doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it can be very annoying. This big list is quite a lot of clutter and makes you feel that there's something wrong in your scene. So to clear them out, there's actually a utility. If you go to Pixelogic ZBrush Download Center Z Plugins, if you scroll down, a good bit down on the list here, you'll get down to clean tool utility. So this one here has a download button, just download that and install it following the instructions inside. Once you have it, you can restart ZBrush, open up your plugins folder and you're going to have this clean tool utility here. So simply by clicking matte cap clear, that will remove the matte cap from a given sub tool. If you want to remove it from all of them, you can come back here and say matte cap clear all. So I like to do this just basically on all of the sub tools that I think may, may be the issue. In this particular instance, we only have one tool that has several subtools, and these are primitive, so it's unlikely to be these. So this is the one I'm going to use. So I'm going to hit this and then say matte cap clear all. And that will run through all of the subtools, removing all of the matte caps. You'll see when you come back to your materials that they're actually still here, and it looks like they're still here. So, but all you have to do is save. Now I could save this out as a ZTL by just using the save as. But then when I import that back in, I'm going to lose the undo history and that's not what we want to do. I'd rather maintain the undo history. But because this has now already been cleared, all we have to do is hit Control S and save the project file. I'm going to save that as matcap deleted. And now you'll see if I reinitialize ZBrush, that will basically do a hard reset on ZBrush, the equivalent of shutting it down and starting it up again. You can see here we have no none of these materials. So now when I load that scene, we get our undo history. And if I go back to our materials, all of the materials have been cleared out. So as usual, hope this tip helps and don't forget to click like and subscribe and all that usual stuff. All right, cheers, bye.